YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Don't mind how I look right now. I got to get my scarf to put my hair up. But we got a little sit down story time for y'all. I haven't done a story time in a minute. So I'm going to hit y'all with one today. And yeah, we're going to eat uh, some cereal too. Let me, let me show y'all what cereal we're working with right now. I got to get my hair tied too because my hair is bothering me. If you haven't tried this cereal, your sleep. These are better than the actual cinnamon toast crunch right here. And then hold on. You gotta eat it. You gotta drink it with the almond milk too. Vanilla almond milk. I just put y'all on the best combo, the best cereal combo. Try it. Go to the store, get these, try them, and come back and tell me if they're not fire. And if they're not fire, something wrong with your taste buds. So right now, y'all, we're in the process of making this cereal. I'm about to put my hair up. I had the milk out for like 30 minutes. I swear to God, my stomach could be so sick. Like I was just standing here trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about. And then I remembered what I was planning on doing the story time last night. Because you know, you smoke and then you get good ideas to do videos. Then you go to sleep and then forget everything. So last night is when I came up to do this uh, story time for y'all. And now we're gonna do it today. So, just give me a minute, y'all. I know I'm I'm wasting time. Y'all wanna see the mukbang and me talk, but. I see you driving around town with the your light love and I'm like, forget you. I guess the change in my pocket wasn't enough. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to pour the milk. Forget you and forget her too. Said if I was richer, I'd still be with ya. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? And I hold this pain in my chest. I still wish you the best. Forget you. Baby, I'm sorry. I can't afford a Ferrari. But that don't mean I can't get you there. I guess he's an Xbox. And I'm more tired. Alright, y'all. So, we are now sitting. We got the cereal right here. So I'm going to give you all the story time on how I walked out of my job. So this was recently too. Like right now, I'm literally on YouTube grind, trying to grind, trying to get to 2000, trying to really build my channel because I just walked out of this job. Like one thing about this job, do not let no job, no managers make you feel like you got to be somewhere. Like if you don't, if you, you got to think about it in life. We really don't have to do nothing we don't want to do. Like, if you just feel like walking out and saying, F it, uh, you could do that. Especially if they're not treating you good. Especially if they just feeling like they could just tell you what to do, when to do. Like, all this extra, like, come on. My thing is, like, just because you make a little, you're a manager or whatever, you make a little few little dollars more than the regular people that work there. Don't feel like you, like, superior. Feel like, or feel like, you know, like, you could just, yeah, like, you just hot shit because when you leave this job you're not nobody like you're about to just uh cinnamon toast crunch so look this was monday of last week last week monday right so last week monday and listen i already had my mind i already had it made up my mind that i was gonna quit i just actually had to go do it so Monday come around, I go in, and, and I got to give y'all the backstory for y'all to hear the whole story. Basically, we have this coach or manager call. I'm not going to say her name. I'm not going to say her name on here, but I'm, we're just going to call her B. We're going to call her B today. So B is the manager of, of my department. And we used to have another manager. We will call him A, right? A was the best, A was the best manager ever. We never had no problems. Everybody got along with A. We were all cool with A. So basically A switched to a different department so he could make more money, right? He switched to a different department. 
Um, and after A left, we got B. As soon as B came, everything was wrecked. Everything was messed up. She started changing everything. We used to be doing perfectly fine. She's rude. She don't know how to talk to people. She just feel like this because she the coach. She just tell you, go do this. Not even explain to you what you're supposed to be doing. Just go do it. And that's how it's supposed to go. So, yeah, B, she's just beyond trash. Beyond trash, right? So, Monday come along. Mind you, people have already left. Like, we had, like, a full team of people that's been there 15 years all these time. And just as, as soon as B got there and messed up everything, we had people that was there for 25 years literally switched to a different department. He'd been in that department 25 years and switched to a different department just because of B. So everybody was already leaving. We had, like, nine, eight or nine people left in, in that department after B came. So Monday come along, we having a meeting because um nobody wants to go in the freezer because we all work we all stock right so this is part of the job that requires people to go in the freezer and scan things and the freezer is like it's like zero degrees it's cold like as soon as you go in there your nose start bleeding so it's like nobody wants to go in there nobody from our department wants to go in there you feel me and it's people that's that's uh, designated to that area they just don't do it so they want us to do it so We having a meeting, be telling everybody that, oh, we're required to go in the freezer. Everybody has to go in the freezer to scan these things, right? So everybody's arguing back and forth because she's not understanding that the freezer is too cold and we'll, we only get one hoodie, not even a hoodie, a jacket. What are we supposed to do with that? Right? So everybody's arguing, be going back and forth. And she tell me, I'm going in the freezer. Mind you, we had this discussion earlier. I went in the freezer and my nose was literally bleeding. I couldn't even feel my hands. Like, I felt like I was going to pass out. And I told her that she was like, oh, if you don't have a doctor's note, you got to go back in there. When, it, when, when literally she saw my nose bleeding and didn't even ask, oh, are you okay? Nothing. She just said, oh, if you don't have a note, this, that, and that. I'm like, oh, I'm like, whatever. And that day, that was that was a week prior to this Monday. So that day I walked out, but I didn't quit. I just walked out and went home early, right? Because like, how are you going to be a manager and be inconsiderate? You see somebody knows me, and you don't even ask. You just say, oh, she literally said, oh, did you finish scanning? Well, mid my nose bleeding, she see this. She didn't even ask, are you okay? She said, oh, are you done scanning? Like just rude and inconsiderate, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to leave. You feel me? So look. Monday comes, she tell me I'm going in the freezer. I tell her I'm not going in there. And then it was another lady there that was also talking to. I gotta add that in because it adds into what's going on. So it was another lady there that I was talking to. Mm. And I was like, I'm not going in the freezer. I'm not. And she was like, Oh, you could switch departments and this and that. I was like, Okay, let's switch departments right now. She was like, Oh, it's not. You can't. This was the other lady talking. She was like, oh, you can't switch today. Uh, it's going to take a few weeks for you to uh, fully uh, switch you to a different department. And I was like, well, I'm not going in there. Mind you, I'm talking to the other lady, right? I'm talking to the other lady. B keep interrupting. So I say to B, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to, I'm talking to her. She going to say office now. Do you know who you're talking to? Like, I'm not 12... 13, 14, who are you talking to office now? I'm 19 years old. I'm grown. You talk to me the way uh, you want me to talk to you. Don't tell me no office now. Like, I, like, like, who, like, who are you talking to? So in my mind there, I was like, I'm, I'm out. I go to the office. Her and the other big, swole, back-ass bitch come in the office too. You feel me? They both come in the office. She's talking about, oh, you can't be disrespectful to your supervisor. I'm like, how am I disrespectful? If I'm not talking to you, you shouldn't be interrupting. She was like, oh, it's not what you said. It's how you said it. Whole time, she being rude to everybody at the meeting. But when I say I'm not, I simply said, I'm not talking to you. That's all I said. I'm not talking to you. That's disrespectful. Like, so she said, oh, um, I'm going to write you up because it's not the first time you tried to be disrespectful. And I just said, I'm, I quit. 
you know, I said, I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. And she was like, okay. And I just walked out. Clean. Both left. Both of, both of them in the office just walked out. And the other lady was calling my name, trying to make me just stay and talk about it. But I was already, I was like, no. I've been there three years, two years. I'm not doing that shit. So I left. And I came home. And now we're on the YouTube grind because I'm tired of people feeling like they tell me what to do, when to do it, all these things. I want to be my own boss, you know? I've been doing YouTube for a year. Obviously, we're going to keep grinding, keep working. I want to I want to reach. I want YouTube to be my job, my full-time job to where I don't have to listen and deal with extra stuff like this on the side. So that's what happened. It was... I mean, look, my peoples ended up calling corporate because of all the stuff she'd been doing prior to this. So our peoples called corporate like two days later, the lady that was with B in the office, she called me and was like, we want to give you a job back. We want to do this. We want to do that. We'll give you a full-time position. We'll let you work in the front. And I'm not working full time, <laughs> especially not for y'all. And I'm not working full time. Like I have YouTube I'm trying to pursue. I'm not going to slay myself for y'all after, especially after that shit. Hell no. So I literally told her I was going to come back and never came back. Kiss my ass. That's what y'all get for playing with me. I literally told her, yeah, yeah, I'm going to come in uh, Tuesday I'm going to come in, literally it blocked their number and never came back. <laughs> literally, like, you tried me. I remember y'all said I was going to get fired when I did the video at work. whole time, I never got fired. I, I left myself now. So now I quit. Now I'm just here grinding on YouTube, working, trying to get to my goals. Yeah, like I said earlier, don't let no job treat you like you just like they they or like they own you, like they own you, like they have ownership over you. Like don't ever let no manager feel like they can talk to you anyway, or or, or treat you anyway. You gotta deal with it. Luckily enough, I'm about to like a fully adult to where I don't have like bills and things like that, so I can just easily quit. I know for people that's older and have like bills in a family, it's hard to just walk out of a job, but. Luckily, I don't have no fucking uh, family, no kids, so I don't have no bills. So I'm just, I'm just here. So, but yeah, that's what happened. Never again. Never again. I should have quit. I should have quit way earlier, but I was really trying to hold on because the job wasn't all bad. You know, I, I like the people there. Some of the people there were really cool. You know, I, I miss them now. You know, but it is what it is, you know. Life goes on, right? But look, that's what happened. That's what happened. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. You guys drink the milk, though. Let's not do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all want more story times, if y'all want more reactions, let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram. My DMs are always open to y'all. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, we're gonna see you not. What? I'm going to see y'all in the next one. We're out. God took me right up out my sins, I can't go back no. Holy step and gaining real knowledge, you can soak that yep. Thank God he gave me good light and brought hope back yes. Big stepping on the devil's head, got my toe fat They said I